Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregory Martin, AKA the Super Producer, and we're back with another review. But before we get into the review, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It keeps you notified whenever I post a new video. And with that being said, let's just jump right into today's content. So today we are reviewing the Netflix original movie, Uncorked. Now this is a gem I just kind of stumbled across over the weekend. Um, I wasn't looking for anything in particular and I saw this movie and for me, what a lot of people don't know, I am very, very into wine. I'm not like a, you know, a, uh, you know, a, 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 a wine snob. I wouldn't consider myself fat, but I definitely enjoy a, a great glass of wine. You know, I've been exposed more and more uh, over the recent years to different wines, to different uh, uh, types and, uh, you know, countries who, who develop wine. And I've been a big fan of movies that are, uh, that detail um, about winemaking in the process, um, like the uh, movie uh, Bottle Shock. Uh, I want to say there's a, also a documentary called Psalm, uh, which is about sommeliers. And and so for, from from that point on, I've been just really enthused about uh, wine drinking, and then just this wine culture has kind of taken off over the, over the past, you know, probably what decade or decade or so and then what what made it doubly interesting to me was the fact that it was being told from a black family perspective all the other documentaries or other shows that i've always seen has always been you know some you know the traditional white cast and so to see that this film was made one starring african-american well the whole most of the entire 95 98 percent of the cast is african-american uh the director's african-american he came from the tv side he's done some movies as well most of you guys will know know him from uh the insecure tv show on hbo starring uh lisa um Issa Rae. and then also the movie stars uh nisi nash courtney b vance and i'm not familiar with the lead actor his name is uh mama mamadou ethne um i uh i looked him up after i watched the movie and i'm not i see that he's done some some really um mainstream uh, movies and tv series but this is my first time really noticing him but i mean he was the perfect casting for this for this uh, uh character in this film so basically the movie is about this this character played by mamadou anthony um i forget the character's name but basically his family is uh is based out of memphis tennessee memphis tennessee is big into barbecue uh that whole scene and so his family has this barbecue restaurant and the father wants his son to take over that restaurant however the son doesn't really care about the family business you know he's just not really interested in in taking over he's more interested in in wine and so his part-time job while he's working for the family business he's also uh, works at a wine shop and he's very knowledgeable about wines the owner of the wine shop actually attempted to take the, the master sommelier class and didn't get into it, but they still have, but he still, still has a, this appreciation for wine, and this uh, this uh, kid has this appreciation for wine. What really makes this film really relatable, and I, and I like what they did was the normal conclusion for this for this film would be that the kid, you know, he go, takes his he goes on this journey to take the you know the uh, Somal the master Somalia course, and then he comes back into the family business, and they try to marry the two worlds together they definitely attempted to go this route and i'm so happy that the the, the film didn't end on that very kind of cookie cutter note you know also what was going on you know there's a dynamic between the son and the, fa the father and the son the father wanted the son to take over the business the son didn't want to take over the business then you have the mother who is you know supporting obviously she supports the husband but she also she respects the son's decision to make his own way to add more drama to it you know she is you know she's had cancer in the past and the cancer's returned and and then there's this underlining undertone of that the son traditionally or you know historically you know whenever he starts on a journey uh to do anything he never finishes it and the father always throws that in his face that kind of is another driving factor for the son to actually 
pursue this and succeed. It was such a such a cool, cool movie. Very hip. I just really love the way that they blended this this old profession with a little hip hop urban uh, twang to it. The the soundtrack of the music was the music to this movie was all done by Hit Boy, which if you don't know, Hit Boy is is one of the hottest music producers, hip hop producers going right now. You know, he's worked with Drake, just to, to name one big person that he's worked with. This film as a whole was just a, a, a really solid film. It's probably one of the best finds that I've discovered uh, on Netflix in a while. You know, especially after seeing the, the documentary about Madam C.J. Walker, to then come across this film a week later, it was, it was an absolute jewel. Acting was superb. It was funny. They had these heartbreaking moments. The mother, played by uh, Niecy Nash, uh, her cancer came back and she passed away. And then Courtney B. Vance, you know, being Courtney B. Vance, he is a, a vastly underrated actor. You know, he's been doing it for, I think, what, 20 over 20 plus years. He is vastly underrated. He did a, a did a great job playing an older patriarch of the family. It was just a just a, just a well crafted movie from the direction, from the production. I really felt like you know I was in Memphis watching them you know doing the barbecue, the whole you know to selecting the the wood and the, the the meat. It actually made me kind of hungry watching the movie and, and, and thirsty you know just watching the, the delicious food. It kind of had like this little moments that reminded me of the, the John Favreau movie Chef um, and I wish they they kind of could have highlighted the wine a little bit better I definitely think they they touched on wine that was you know not necessarily in the mainstream that most people don't know about but I, I wish they could have I wish there was some way they could have explored that to really highlight the the different varieties of you know uh, know the of reds and whites and you know regions and things like that but I, I get it the movie wasn't particularly all about the wine it was about the relationships between uh, the, the family dynamic and how how the wine kind of tied them together um, and and pulled them apart so um, really eager to see what this what this director does next the actor uh, like I said Mamadou um, Anthony or Athy I want to work with him uh, he is. He was. He did a phenomenal, phenomenal job uh, with this character. He was. This cast was perfectly casted. Um, unlike the the, the Madam C.J. Walker movie. I mean, this was perfect. The, it was everything. Every person was was right on the nose. Even um, even the um, the supporting actors. Everybody was cast perfectly to a T. And uh, I definitely recommend you guys checking this movie out uh, if you have a chance if you're looking for something to watch uh, uh, during the, uh, the quarantine this is definitely a movie worth watching especially if you're into wine and, and barbecue uh, you definitely uh, will enjoy watching this uh, this movie well, that's all I have for you guys today that is my review on the film Uncore please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and um, I will catch you guys on the next review all right peace